This guy's just getting started his rookie season with the Atlanta Hawks, averaging 18.7, almost eight assists per game. And he's uh, Trey Young, who joins us on the program. By the way, his last game, he hit the buzzer beater to beat the 76ers, scoring 32 points with 11 assists. Trey, good morning. How are you? I'm doing good, Mr. Patrick. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm just curious that, you know what, rookies usually hit that rookie wall. You seem to be getting better at the end of the season. Why is that? Uh, I mean, for me, I, don't know. I like to look at it. I think maybe that my rookie wall is at the beginning, and I, I, I went over it. <laughs> really? Um, yeah. I, I really just think that it's, it's for me, now I'm starting to see teams for the second and third, some even the fourth time. Um, and now I know a little bit more about, I mean, the guards and the type of players I'm playing against. And, um the type of defenses I'm seeing and things like that. So I think the game is slowing down for me just because of things like that. When was your welcome to the NBA moment? Who were you guarding where you went or they were guarding you? Uh, I had a couple. I mean, my first, not everybody can say their first game in the NBA is in Madison Square Garden. Um, that was, I mean, a surreal, surreal day, surreal moment for me. Uh, uh, I had a chance to, to hit a game winner in L.A. in Staples Center against LeBron um, the first time I played him. So I think probably that moment um, was probably my welcome to the NBA moment. Have you guarded uh, James? Have you tried to guard James Harden this year? Yeah, yeah. I got switched on him a couple of times. <laughs> uh, What's I got that? switched on a couple of times. What's that like? Uh, I mean, it's tough. It's tough just like everybody uh, that has to – to, to guard him, uh, you, you don't know what he's going to do. Whether he's going to step back or try to go around you, you got to, I mean, try your best to contest contest every shot. It just feels like he's unstoppable, Trey. Yeah, no, he, on that on that offensive end, he, I mean, he, he's probably second to none as far as the ability to score at any time. Sometimes you just got to hope he's having an off night um, as far as shooting. Did you fill out a bracket for the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I did. I did. I feel that too. Okay, how far did you have Oklahoma going? Uh, on my unbiased one or biased one? Unbiased. Uh, unbiased. I uh, I had him. I actually had him falling to to Virginia. Virginia is just just too good this year. Okay. Um, I I actually, but the the good thing about that is I have them winning it all, so it makes us look good. Uh, since they beat us, if they win it all. Wait, you have Virginia winning it all? Yeah, I had Virginia winning it all. Uh, were you rooting for or against Duke last night? Oh, I was rooting for Duke. Okay. I was rooting for Duke. I, li- I like seeing like seeing those, those those guys play. So them getting bumped early in the tournament, uh, I don't think it would be fun. Did Duke recruit you? Yeah, early on. Early on, uh, my junior year, they did. And... Uh, Things kind of, I mean, sizzled out. But uh, early on, I took a visit up there and everything. My junior year. Well, so did they? Did they stop recruiting you, or did they realize that maybe you were going to stay close to home at Oklahoma? Yeah, I think that's more what it was. Is they they thought I was going to stay either closer home uh, or end up at Kentucky um, and and go that route. But uh, uh, that that's what it was. They, I mean, I. I I had an offer. Uh, Jeff Capel was the one who recruited me. Yeah. Um, and Coach K. So, uh, yeah, that, that's really what what happened with them. Are you allowed to shoot whenever you want to? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know that answer. Uh, well, have I you think... been told not to shoot? No. no <laughs> then, you, then you have the green light to shoot whenever you want. To. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I mean, I've never been told. <laughs> yeah. But I, I just, I'm just trying to make the right play, so uh, I don't shoot every time. Uh, who has deeper range than you in the NBA? Uh, um, that's a good question. Uh, I don't know. I think, I mean, Steph, Steph has I mean, a lot of range. Uh, Damian Lillard has a lot of range. Um, those guys for sure. I think I think they are out there. Um, probably only two I could think of. What was it like though playing against Golden State first time? Oh, it was it was great. It was uh, kind of surreal because growing up, I mean, I was always, I mean, 
obviously I, I watched a lot of stuff, but I mean, I grew up in OKC where I was able to, to be, I mean, pretty close with KD. So, um, knowing him throughout high school and when I was younger, uh, playing him for the first time was, was pretty cool and, uh, pretty surreal. So playing against Steph was obviously pretty cool, but I mean, KD, um, seeing him playing against him was kind of surreal. What do you miss about college? Uh, I think the atmosphere. Uh, I mean, I went to the the first round game when uh, Oklahoma played Ole Miss, and uh, just that atmosphere. I mean, you don't get that type of atmosphere in the NBA. Where, I mean, I embraced the the signs that the other student section would would bring to the games, chants, and different things, and the over like the overrated chants, all those little things that I mean, college basketball environments bring to the game um, that you don't necessarily see every night in the NBA. Uh, you see them in some arenas, but, uh, I mean, that, that, that atmosphere in college is, is something different. Can you explain to me, when you go down the floor, like at what point do you realize that you may just pull up and take a jump? Like, what do you see that you just go, okay, uh, you're going to give me this, and then you're going to take the jumper? I think really if, if the defender is, is, is all the way back at like the three-point line, because, uh, I mean, for me, if, I've, if I'm feeling it, if I've hit one or two, um, three's already in the game and I'm, I'm feeling good, uh, if I come down and we get a rebound and I'm pushing in transition, uh, and the defender, my defender's guard me is in the, at the three-point line, I mean, there's a good chance I'm pulling up um, from, from pretty far. How many dunks do you have this year? Zero. Zero dunks. Trey, what are you doing? I know. I know. I, I get uh, I get clowns from Vince all the time about not dunking. He's waiting for my first dunk in the game. I mean, Vince is my age, Trey, and he's still dunking. <laughs> hey, that, he's, he's not human. He's not human. <laughs> Can you get a dunk before the end of the regular season? Uh, we, we can plan on that. We can try. I can try. But you can dunk, right? Yeah, I can. Okay. I can dunk. Okay. I just, yeah. yeah. Cause if you well, get one of my, what? One of my favorite people that I talked to about this was, uh, Mo Williams. He told me about, uh, how many games and, and points he scored in his career, but never, <laughs> never dunked. <laughs> <laughs> I think John Stockton even had a dunk tray in his career. So, uh, I know. I know. I need to get a dunk. Yeah, just a little bit. And I, I think you got to change the spelling of your, your name. Why? T R E Y. No, no. I'm, my name is spelled different. I like it. No, you're Trey. Like you way. shoot trays. You're three. No, nah, no. The tray, the way it's spelled is, is different, unique. I like that. All right. All right. I like it. I like it. Hey, uh, congrats on this season. It's uh, it's the Arian pretty lofty company there, and I know it's you and Luca going down to the wire for rookie of the year. So, uh, did you guys ever talk about that when you guys met at the All Star game? Uh, no, we we talked a, a little bit um, about it, but not too much. Uh, I've known Luca for a little bit. Uh, we met this off season, this past off season, and. Um, at the draft and the rookie transition. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, we exchange numbers. We talk, I mean, ever so often. Um, so when we talk, we, it's not necessarily about the rookie of the year stuff. It's, 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 it's other things. So, uh, he's a good dude, but, uh, yeah, we stay in contact a little bit. Well, congrats on the season so far and good luck with uh, rookie of the year honors. Great to catch up with you again. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me on again. All right. That's uh, Trey Young. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.